I just want to say before we go, this is the last song of the night. And uh, we usually pull out, usually I say, you know, 35, what, 40 years ago, I guess, to be honest. We would pull out a boa constrictor right now. And we searched and searched to try to find one for this last two months. We, we found out that the state of Illinois passed a law that you can't have a constrictor longer than six feet, so. We used to have a seven foot red tail bow constrictor. We shot a show in Indianapolis called Scene 70. And during this show, I usually used a, a bow constrictor that was about five feet long, I think. And Tabe had all the, the snakes. It was my job to handle them on stage, but he was the one that owned the snakes. And, and he, he brought the big one that day for the television show. And he said, uh, I brought the big snake and you don't have a hair on your ass if you don't use it. Now, I was afraid of this snake. It weighed like 80 pounds. It was seven foot long. And it was one time got on, on his arm so tight that he had to get on the telephone and call three of us up and we wound it off of him. But I thought, well, I always took a deer at that point in my youth. So the camera's looking at us, like, much like that camera is there, but much closer. And he said, I want you to hold the snake in front of the camera so that I see its face. Now the trick to using a bow constrictor and make it work out is just let it do whatever the hell it wants to do. So if it wants to go over here, or over here, over there, that's what you do. I mean, it looks like you're dancing, right? But you ain't dancing, you're just letting the snake do its damn thing. Now there gets to be a problem when you weigh about 140 pounds, which I did at the time. I put on a little meat on my bone since then. And the snake weighs 80 pounds. And he wants me to hold it still. So I flex it like the damn snake's heavy. And he wants to move, but I squeeze down, snake goes like this. <laughs> Snake hits my head. Now at the time I had hair down here and it was pretty thick. That's what saved me. Because it hit my hair like that, see? And it slipped off my head. I grabs it like this and I'm fighting with the snake. And I'm trying to lip sync the words. <laughs> Fuck the words up big time. And I'm fighting with the snake. As the song's ending, I'm fighting with the snake. I, I, I took the snake and I laid it on the ground. And it starts going towards the cameraman. And the cameraman's like... <laughs> he turns the camera off and starts running. We put down our instruments and we went and got the snake. Tape got it. Yeah. <laughs> we put it back in the box. Now, I said to the guys, I said, no. We got to shoot this again because I, I did screw up the lip syncing. And the producer of the show said, you're crazy. This is the most exciting thing we've ever had on this damn show. And they did let us, if anybody knows where this tape is, let us know because we'll be YouTube sensations for the rest of our damn lives. They let us see the thing in slow-mo, right? Now a bow constrictor can unhinge its jaw. I, tape told me this. He knows a little bit more about snakes than I do. I was afraid of the snake. I just used it on stage, see? But he told me they can unhinge their jaw to eat whatever they decide they can try to eat. So we did see this thing in slow-mo. And it looked like this. <laughs> Literally, its mouth was big enough to get inside, get my head inside. <laughs> anyway. Enough talk, now we play. <laughs> <laughs>